What's up everybody? Welcome to Ingenuity. Today we're going to be building the main hoop pedestals, getting the main hoop installed, maybe even the halo and the A-pillar bars. We'll see how far we get, but we're going to give it our damnedest. Let's get to it. got the first pedestal box done and uh, it's just basically a rinse and repeat on the other side which I'm sure you probably don't want to sit there so use a little YouTube magic and there we go all right so now that we got the boxes done we can get the uh, get the main hoop uh, fitted and cut and and get that tacked in place we can move on to the halo we are running a little bit behind schedule because the uh, driver side which I and of course didn't film um, actually ran into a situation you know it's one of those things you're just grinding on stuff and you're like okay I just got a little bit more to go like even despite all the signs you should stop that you're feeling tired and your batteries are running out and you know like trying to trying to throw a bead down it's just not going quite right you should stop and just reassess you know sometimes you just need to walk away forged ahead ended up messing it up had to cut it out and redo it anyway so that set me back a little bit but Nonetheless, we are going to get this uh, this main hoop sized up and in here, and then hopefully we have some time. We can get the halo started, and then get working on these eight pillar arms. So, off we go. So if you're wondering what I was doing, what I like to do is measure both sides and see what the measurements are. I mean, they got to be the same, right? Because you got to keep the, the bar level. But there's going to be a little bit of variance in your chassis. What I like to do is kind of get an average of the two. So in this case, they both measured exactly seven and a quarter. So that's awesome. Um, that were that square right out of the gate. A lot of times they'll be like just a little, you know, 30 second off, an eighth off, that kind of thing, in which case you just kind of split the difference. And then um, once, the, once the, the bar's in the car, hopefully, you, have, you know, an angle finder is usually the easiest way to do it, um, you know, because you have the exact measurement. But if you don't, you just throw a level on it and, you know, grind it till it's level and just go from there. But um, like I said, in this case, seven and a quarter on both sides exactly, so we're good to go there. Uh, I'm gonna lop it off, get it in, tack it, and we're keep rolling. Oh, 
Ugh. Vent the atmosphere. We don't have the depth we want, but roughly centered, why are we doing this? Well, we've got these eighth inch mounting plates. So basically we're just gonna line these up with where they roughly fit on, on the plate. Simply by, we're gonna mark the two, stick these on here, cut them so they fit, weld those on, and then the main hoop can get attacked. So, let's do it. So we're gonna burn these on real quick, and then at that point we can fit the main hoop, get attacked, and we will have the start of our cage. So just in case um, you don't fully grasp the enormity of this moment, this is the first time since we started gutting the back of this thing that um, we're going to be taking this brace out. Uh, this is the first time there's enough structure back in the car and like good structure at that that we can afford to take this brace out. Um, so. Yes, this is this is a this is a huge moment, um, and hopefully it doesn't collapse on me. <laughs> so uh, yeah, be wary of the pops and cracks, and we'll see what happens. Let's do it. resistance. Those are still pretty hot. <laughs> Kiss your wonder. And there we go. This is awesome. This is very exciting. Okay, so in terms of getting the cage actually fit to the car, um, you can see how it's cocked up like that so we just got to shave this side down so that's level um, so that's it's nice and flat and then it'll be good to go you but I am exhausted so I'm gonna call it a night I could not be more excited about this this is a massive amount of progress for this car I mean this is a very pivotal moment because this is the center point of the strength for most of the chassis so I'm over the moon right now um, I know I probably sound stupid but um, yeah I, I, I am so excited right now we finally we got here um, next up we can get the halo fitted up we can get those a arms fitted up and then we can get the uh, the arms that come back whatever they're called get those in um, get that all tied together and once that's tied together we get the front together and I don't think it's too much farther down the road before this thing's rolling and uh, supporting itself under its own weight so <laughs> this is awesome anyway I digress so Thank you so much for sticking around. I really do appreciate it. And just remember, projects like this, sometimes you just need a little ingenuity. 
I will see you next time.